Hey there, today we are learning about Buffer. Buffer is a social media management tool. What exactly is that? Social media management is a tool that you use to schedule your posts on your social media profiles ahead of time. Um, one of the things when you start out your new business, you have this list of all these things that you need to do. There's this, I always say there's all these pieces of a puzzle and you need to put them together and every person needs to figure out what works best for them. Like, how am I going to schedule my time? Um, one of the things when you're scheduling, instead of looking at every day I need to do A, B, C, D, and E, start looking at chunking your time. So once you understand what those puzzle pieces are, then you can start chunking that information. You're not really going to know all of that in the beginning. It just all, you just keep learning all those pieces if that makes sense but one of the things you're doing is posting whether you're posting making youtube videos because you want to promote your business with search engine op optimization or you're doing your business using social media um, there's two different kinds of uh, marketing um, this buffer is for people that market when social media so you're marketing on facebook or instagram twitter those different things that um, you're looking for engagement, okay? And maybe you're, or maybe you're posting ads or things like that. So Buffer is a system where you can go in and schedule ahead of time. So I'm gonna chunk my posting. So I might take one day every month, and let's say I wanna post four times a week in my Facebook, uh, on my Facebook. Maybe I wanna post five times on Instagram or daily, or whatever it is. You can go in and post for the entire month and just sit there in one day and knock it out. Now you might say, well, that's a lot. That's like nine posts a day. Well, you can use the same post for your Facebook as you do Instagram. And that's what you're gonna see what's really cool about Buffer. You can kind of go to different platforms in one, one push of a button. And that's what I love about this one. All right, so let's look at some, the first thing I wanna jump into, I know everybody, First thing they want to know is, well, how much does it cost? Because especially when you're new, you're always pinching pennies and you're always looking for that way to make money online and not spend any money. But I'm, I want to tell you, and we all thought that way in the beginning, and then the more you dig in, you find out, yes, you do have to spend money. You need certain tools for your business. And that's why I wanted to do this series on different social media platforms or tools because I want you to really research and pick the one that's best for you and they're all different so I'm not doing a tutorial we're not going in and I'm not showing you how to use it because every single tool every single one of these platforms that I've been sharing they go in and they'll give you a tutorial and teach you how to do it and most of them give you a 30-day free trial or two-week free trial so you can go in and and do it for free um, i do have a playlist that i am creating the link is below where i have all of these different social media tools management tools that i've been reviewing they're all there so if you like what you see and you want to look at other ones then hit the playlist link below it doesn't cost you anything just go down there and look and see what else is out there and again i don't have everything on the planet down there i'm just building this and as i find them I'm offering them to you so you can see which one's best for you. Because I think understanding and getting the one that's best for you is the most important thing um, in your business without um, going out and wasting a lot of money. So this one here, when I went to look at the pricing, it there is a free account. But I want you to look at, right away everyone says, oh, it's a free account, I'm gonna take that. Before you even do any research, I want you to decide how many platforms how many of my platforms do I want to schedule my posts on? And then what does my schedule look like? And I want you to do that before you even start digging into these, okay? And this is why. Look at here, um, it says pricing free, okay? So it's free, free, free. Who doesn't like free? But one, you can only be on three social accounts. Now you might say, well, you know what? I'm only on two, so that works. Excellent, three's not bad. That's not even a negative. But another thing, it says one user that's fine too you're a one man show right now you don't really have anybody that you're hiring this isn't your business where you're out posting for other people one is perfect this is the thing you need to look at you can only schedule 10 posts a month that's not going to do you any good you might as well be scheduling daily because you're going to be getting on there every other day scheduling those nine posts that we just talked about so i personally if you have that information laid out i think the pro account looks better because here you can go on to eight different social accounts and again you may not have eight let's stick with the two but if you go down you can schedule a hundred posts 
So you probably could schedule six weeks out. If you're doing nine posts a day, four on Facebook, five on Instagram, you could schedule out nine, uh, six weeks and get that knocked out. So look at that. You want the tool to help you. You don't want it to become frustrating and one more thing that you have to watch. So what you do is you post out for six months and then put on your calendar. Okay, I need to do this again, another chunk of time. This day, I'm gonna dedicate to it six weeks from now and that's all I'm gonna do all day is get my posts on there. Now, something that Buffer does that I think is another big, big plus is they are known for their queue. And you're like, well, what does that mean? They have a queue where you can keep all of your posts and you can recycle them again. So that is a plus. Some of these um, social media platforms do not allow you to do that. Um, there's some different you know, situations. So you gotta watch for that kind of stuff. But this one does, you're able to do that. Now here's a picture. I told you it was like a button that you just hit. Well, you could say, look, I'm on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, and I wanna post this one thing onto all three accounts. So you, you make your post down here, and then you go, okay, click, click, click. I wanna put it on all three of them. And then down at the bottom, you schedule it on this certain day. Now, typically, if most of your followers probably aren't on all of your accounts, but if you're somebody that maybe a lot of your followers are, then that might not be something that you wanna do is post the same thing three times. You gotta you know, pay attention to your audience, but a lot of people tell me, you know what, I don't have the same people following me on Twitter as I do Instagram. It's two different groups of people. Um, and so if that's true, then just click it and put the same post. But look how easy that is. And then it goes into a queue, like a, a list where it saves it and you can go back in and recycle it now you might say well how often should i recycle my posts i from what i've read you want to take um, recycle every two to three months so if you have three months worth of posts just go back in and recycle them again and maybe you can mix them up and maybe add some new stuff so this isn't something you're going to constantly be doing so then when you go back to that chunk of time where you say today is posting scheduling day it gets easier and easier because you're just adding in some fresh information and recycle information recycling some old information so that's where this online business stuff starts to get easier because a lot of the foundational work that you have to do is in place and ready for you to keep using it. So I just wanted to give you that one little tip. Um, all right, um, here's a, an example of how you schedule. You can go in and say, these are the exact times that I wanna schedule and on the exact days. And you can go in there and change it up. Like I said, you might um, look at your analytics and it might say, you know, nobody is looking at your stuff on Sundays. Nobody's even clicking it. Well, maybe you won't post on Sunday after that, or maybe you only post once that day just to keep um, your posts going and, and fresh. So those are things to look at. Now, I'm going to show you the pros and the cons. And remember, I have been um, going over some other. Alrighty, so let's talk about the pros and the cons of using Buffer. A pro, it's very easy and simple to follow. Once you go in there, you can use that free account. Um, and like I said, if you're serious, you already know, you've gone in and used the trial account, you know this is what you want, I highly recommend you move up to that that next account for $15 a month. Um, it's very good with scheduling. You can do it um, throughout the week and you can adjust each schedule for every day. So you don't have to go in and say, every single day, I'm doing the same thing, you can change it up here and there. Um, it has very limited analytics, but it'll be enough. Remember, Buffer is not a one-stop shop like um, Sprout Social, Sprout or Sprout Social. Um, Sprout Social is a one-stop shop and it does everything. It gives you like who's following you, what kind of engagement. I mean, it really goes into detail. Um, if you're only looking for a place to post, to get that one job chunked, and you know, off your plate every day, then this would be a good, simple format. So you have to think about your needs. Um, another nice thing, you can use different extensions that will make buffering even easier. Uh, Chrome has different extensions that um, help with um, some of these social media platforms and Buffer allows you to use those extensions. Now I added a few other things. Um, some of the social media, like, um, which one was it? Hootsuite does not allow you to use shortened links 
for your posts. Um, sometimes people like to use a shortened link and then they like to track it on their own, uh, maybe through pretty links or something like that off their website. Um, and again, if you don't know about all that, but if you're into tracking, this one will allow you to use outside shortened link programs where Hootsuite will not allow you. They want everything to stay internal. So if that's important to you, that's a plus. Um, it does have a queue where a list, Q means list, where you can keep all of your posts so you can recycle. So that's a plus. And you can also go in and repost or retweet. Um, Twitter has retweets as like a repost. You can do that on Twitter as well as of today on here. Now there could be more features that are added um, beyond what I'm talking about today, but those are some things in a nutshell. Now let's go down to the cons. Um, the analytics are very simple and that to me is not really a negative, but if you're really looking for some in-depth analytical stuff, then this program is probably not for you. Um, again, and I just talked to, uh, just said it a moment ago, it's not like an all encompassing one-stop shop for all your social media stuff. It's think of it, think of buffer more as a scheduler to save me the time and hassle that I don't have to go into every platform every morning and do all my scheduling for the day. I can do it at the beginning of the month and knock it out for all my platforms and then just do it one um, once a month and chunk it. Okay. So there's buffer, um, down below, like I said, I have a link for a playlist. I have a link that goes to buffer. I do not have an affiliate account to that. I'm just trying to give you some, help you with your research. Um, there is a guide to earning income online down there. If you're, if you're looking at this and you're like, wow, I don't even have a business online. Never thought about that, but I love to post all over the place. Well, you can, this is something, a tool you would use for your business to help you there. So got, you know, there's a free guide there to give you some information. And of course, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. I post every, day and I want to thank you for making it this far and watching the video I hope it was helpful give me a thumbs up if it was or comment if you have any questions if you have information add I love when people watch it who might be an expert with buffer I'm not an expert I just did some research to give to you but if you are an expert and you have more information add by all means do it that does not bother me because again I don't know everything I, I know a little bit of everything how's that not a, a lot about one thing all right so there you go. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.